do, it traps the arm, traps the foot. Words are easy, right? Everyone can do it all day. How many times? All day, right? Easy. What are the problems? The problems are you don't know what direction to bridge. You're having a tough time controlling the arm. Four issues. Timing of the roll and uh, trapping the leg. Those are your problems, right? Either the guy does this, or the guy does this, right? So he pulls away. So I'm gonna change the standard routine. Go this way or this way. It doesn't matter. I can go this way, elbow down. I'm preferring this way here. Grip, elbows tight, so my elbow is bracing the knee, and my fingertips are catching the outside of the elbow. Here. Why? Because when I do this, he wants to put his hand on the ground. Go. Good. And the problem is that it's very hard. Go, 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 go. Yes. So for me to hold it. Why is it hard for me to hold it? <laughs> the grip? On, on the lower hand, I think. This one? Yeah. Clear that way, where the other way you can brace with your left hand at the... Uh... Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yes. Well, you need to understand, that's the solution. <coughs> what is the problem? Why does that solution work? I gave you that solution. Why does it work? He has more weight on that the side. Elbow the elbow can't open. The problem is not he's pulling his arm away. Pull your arm away. It's not the problem. That grip works when they're pulling the arm that way. What's the problem? When it opens and then he pulls that way. That's why when I come on the inside, go ahead and do that same. Nope. <laughs> a different problem. Not only can I hold him from going that way, but I'm also going to hold him from going this way. But the problem is, most people, they go here. And then when they go to turn, the hand goes, no, 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 give me that hand back. Then, yes or no? Yes, sir. Right? I go to bridge and the hand goes, no, no, no. Why? Why does that happen? The angle's not correct. Yeah, go ahead. Why can I still roll it? So what happens is, most people do this. Boom! And that's if you get them over. Right? The problem is the energy stops. Boom, it stops. Now my shoulders are glued to the ground. And I'm trying to twist my body. That's the problem. So people go 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or 9 o'clock, and their head comes off the ground. So their energy has to stop, and it changes directions altogether. That's the problem. You don't have enough inertia to finish the roll when you start to turn. This is great, and now you're stuck. So you can't go 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You have to move and go that way. <coughs> You have to go 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock. So when you bridge, the first thing is move your head out of the way. So when you bridge, you can bridge. Right? And I'm reaching across my body. So as I bridge, look, my energy doesn't stop. So I can just go boom and turn to my knees. As hard and fast as I want. I don't have to stop in any direction. I'm just going in a straight line. So that's the first thing, understanding how to roll. If your head comes off the ground, you're already rolling. So your head, once it's offline, and you look, tell me when my head comes off the ground. Not to the very end, because my head comes off the ground. Number one problem is people are turning to the shoulder instead of rolling over the shoulder. So you gotta do this. You guys want to pull and turn it to your shoulder instead of rolling over. Roll over the shoulder. Drive the weight over the shoulder. Try to hold the arm with just your grip. Go. Just that little bit of absorption, go. It makes a huge difference. Just Yes, it's... Go. I mean, am I not squeezing your arm? No. 
that. Go. I'm not squeezing you out? I mean, you're, you're yeah, you're squeezing. Go. You're pulling. But I, but I, I can't hold it. Yeah. Right? If you grab, it's a little bit more, but I mean, that's why you get all arthritis fingers. So I tell you guys, don't grab. Not, not, not the cloth anyways. It's going to destroy your fingers. But if you go, just a little absorption. Go. Uh, yeah, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. So he goes, go. Uh, when do I roll? When I want to or when I can't? But why can't I? <coughs> because his energy goes away. See, the problem most people have with a trap and roll is when they trap the arm and then they go to bridge. I'm going this way, yes? What direction is he going? That way. So now you're going in opposite directions. What is holding the connection between the opposite directions? My grip. So you're putting all of that strain, energy that way, energy that way, which multiplies the energy. That's why I absorb to be able to take some of that energy away. But what happens? Somebody pulls, they go which way? When they relax, they... Everyone does it. Whether it's a standard pull or a shaken pull. What's the difference? Standard pull, go. And then he relaxes. Shake and pull, he goes and starts shaking. And then he eventually relaxes. Those are the, the two big ones. So if it's a standard pull, go ahead. And the second he comes back, that's when we bridge. We'll completely throw him off. The other thing too is when he comes back down, my forearm, he kind of lands on top of my forearm. So what I also do is while bracing the knee here with my elbow, look. You feel it? Yeah. What am I doing? Lifting him. Guiding him. Which direction am I guiding? The same direction I'm rolling him. So we're working on the timing. He's trying to choke my neck, whatever. He's here, I can go here, or here. And again, I will get him to push me down. Don't push me down. Don't push me down, don't push me down. Don't push me down. No, back up. Don't push me down. Push me down! It's too easy. And immediately, I'm always on the hands here. If he tries to swim, bury the elbow. Hold the arm. You can hold it whichever way you want. I prefer it this way. I've been, I've been liking this grip a lot more because it gives me a lot more control at preventing the elbow from opening. If you are going to go with the standard uh, grip, if you are going to go with the standard grip where you come across, no thumb, right? Catch the wrist, elbow down. If you're going to use this grip here or this one here, I don't like this one as much. It's got its pluses and its minuses. But the main focus is I don't grab behind it as much. I kind of go around the side because as his uh, elbow opens, go. I'm kind of giving resistance in. So as the elbow wants to go that way, go. Boom. I'm holding it, pushing this way, go. To prevent the elbow from opening. Because I know once this happens, this is gone. So I'm trying to keep that glue to the body this way. I, I prefer this way. This is, I mean, you get way more miles per gallon on this grip. Um, this, I'm trying to stop this particular problem. It's a far stronger grip. I mean, the inside, no, I mean, just kind of cup. And there's a bone here that I'm kind of, you feel I'm kind of, I'm kind of grabbing his bone. My elbow flat on the ground, my foot, now I'm trapping the foot. If you just do a standard trap with the knee pointed straight up, basically 90 degrees here, he's going to pull, pull the foot up. Great to come back. So two things have to happen. Have to happen. One, the foot has got to go in this way. And two, the knee lays. So now if he tries to pull the foot out, it's, it's kind of more pinched. And then my elbow is here as a backup plan. And this leg here is also important. If I just do this leg here and I go to bridge, he's going to hook this leg. Boom. Make sure this foot is in between the two feet here. Or a lot of times I just step on the foot. And then bridge. Drop your foot, you're in, you're down. Dropping the arm, prevent the winging. Uh, if he's trying to pull, absorb to prevent the pull, and then relax and roll him when you can. The more he goes that way, you just absorb. When he relaxes, poof, that's when you go. Oh.